What is going on guys, Let It Up so today I have a first in class series for you and what this video is, it's going to be me basically showing you my favourite class for the MV4, so let's get into it. What is going on guys, Let It Up's here, today we are in Infinite Warfare and as I said before we're going to be showing you the best classes in my opinion as of November the... Mid-November sometime, 20-something, something, I don't know. I'm going to be showing you the best class, I think, for the MV4. So we jump in, create a class menu. We see the MV4 Fallout. Now, I'm just going to do this video. Some variants are going to be better than others, yes, granted. But all this really does is reduces a little bit of recoil. And, in my opinion, recoil is not a big problem in this game anyway, to be honest. Even if you have the MV4 original or all the other, vi all the other versions of the MV4, I can't remember how you get into that menu. Um, but even if you have the Vigilante or Vigilance, not Vigilante, even if you have that one, that version, all it does is basically you can reload, reload a bit faster. It'll work for this one, that one, and that one. So that's the original. Let's go ahead, go ahead and put that on just for argument's sake. Now, sides. Me, in my opinion, I'm not a massive fan of the iron sides of the MB4 so I just put on a, a side so normally I just put on the reflex side but I think in this game the Trojan side really really OP what it does it just say you're aiming down your sights yeah like you would with the red dot or like you would with the iron sights and you look at you look for your sight aiming at your targets once you see an enemy on your screen it appears like the enemies are like outlined, so you can see them from really far distances. Even if they're up close, it just helps you be a little, like, little bit better accuracy with the gun. Say that that the uh, say the enemy is not using this sight, and they're using a like, reflex sight. You're gonna have the better accuracy with this gun or with this sight compared to they what they would, because you're outlining them. You know where to shoot, where's hitting them, and where is not hitting them. So this is a sight. I will choose on a lot of my guns at the moment. I'm using it on a Volk, I'm using it on the K bar, anything. I'm just using that sight all the time. Next up, we have the stock. Basically, is what this does. I'm a bit more of an SMG type player, to be honest. And um, stock helps me just feel, gives me the feel of an SMG a little bit more than it does without using stock. Just feels a bit too, a bit too heavy when I'm running around the map. So I, that's why I just put stock on. Quick draw. You're obviously going to want to be aiming faster than you can the enemies, so I put quick draw on just so I can get a sights up a little bit faster than the opposing team. That's going to really help me in gunfights and help me to win more of those good fights. So next up, I play a lot of a lot 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 of SM, SND SND. So I put on the suppressor, so it just like, like allows me to be hidden. Um, doesn't really do a lot to the gun. Oh my, I'm sorry, my eye is like. Eyelash or something in the middle of the video. So basically, the suppressor just helps me to stay hidden under the radar, and yeah, it's a really good setup. This class you're seeing right now on screen is my S and D class setup, but this could be altered to perform better in S and D, TDM, whatever you want, domination, defender, whatever you want. Basically, all you do is, if you want to modify it, just take off the suppressor and change the perks around a little bit. So, take off the sniper, I mean. So yeah, we have a sniper, secondary, nothing attached to it, nothing at all, just blank sniper. And for perks, perk 1, we don't leave, we're not using any lethal or tactical, we're using perk 1, we're using ghost, as I say, staying hidden under the radar, perfect. No perk 2, because if you look at the perk, I don't think you really need any of them at S&D. Tracker could be useful, um, momentum maybe, but for S&D game modes, I don't really think... SMG, playing S and I don't think you really need perk two. Attack resist, not really. It's more of a domination type thing. Scavenger, obviously not, because you're on S and D. You're dying every round, or you're surviving every round, and every round you survive. You get your you get your ammo back anyway, so that's not a lot of point in that, from my opinion. Cold blooded could help, but not as much as it would in other game modes. So I just left perk two blank. <clears throat> So, moving on to perk 3, we have Dead Silence, obviously as I say, staying under the radar. Footprints are pretty loud in this game, you can hear if you've got like a decent, decently, decently, decent headset basically, you'll be able to hear footsteps and 
I can really pick them up in this game. So I imagine if other people have got a decent headset, they're going to hear me as well as I can hear them if they're not using Dead Silence. So that's why I stick Dead Silence on so I can run around the map, being free, jumping around as much as I want, and no, no enemies aren't going to hear that. So I think that basically covers it, everything. Um, I'll show the cameras I've got for it, why not? Not really going towards gold, I'm just letting it happen really, but I'm not actually too far away to be honest with you. This is just from playing S and D, I've not really been playing another game mode. And I'm not that far off really. Looking at that. Not that far off. I need like five camos to get gold. And they're all headshots, long shots. Oh I've got some challenges as well. Twenty five rapid kills. Yeah. Yeah, so that's going to tie up the video, guys. If you want to see some other... If you want to see any other guns you want me, want me to cover, or I'm going to cover a few, and then the guns I've been using, and the, my setups for them, and the setups watch I use for the variants, maybe. Uh, so if, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want me to do more, um, write down in the comments your guns you want me to do. If you're struggling on a gun, say... I don't know, one of the pistols, anything like that, just give me a suggestion and I'll try my best to cover it and make a setup video for the best I think you will do with it and the best class setup. So, hope you enjoyed the video. So, if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. New videos come in a lot more frequently than I have been previously. So, I hope you enjoyed and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in another video. Any suggestions are greatly. We any suggestions are greatly appreciate it so we'll see you guys in the normal video i'm out and peace